Hey there YouTube, this is a uh, Grace Car Driver. Got a little um, box opening thing I want to share with you. Uh, Y'all know I have uh, the, the lift over there. Well I'd put some lights, some fluorescent lights on it. Uh, some of those Harbor Freight ones, some of the cheap ones. And, and they work good, but the only thing was um, they had that little, they were supposed to be hang, hung. Um, so they were like these lights here. You see it's got that little flange, a uh, little skirt, you call it there. They were like that, which made that light kind of wide. And I kept catching, kept catching the tires on those. Um, different stuff getting hung on them as I was driving on them. I run over a couple of them. They still work. Um, but I came across these other ones. These are over my glass table so I can see good. I came across these on on Amazon and I purchased them and I just want to do a little box opening reveal thing here. These are uh, T5 fixtures, 50 watt, 65K, made in China. Uh, there's six of them in here. There's a number there. I don't know if that's the number you would need to uh, purchase them, but they're on. I'll try to get a link or something or another on them in the description or something. Because um, I already have some of them already hooked up over there. If you noticed, whenever I swung around where you could see the lift, um, and I really like them. So I'm going to show you what these look like. Here's one because I've already opened one box. So I'm just showing you the other box. Uh, they're nice and thin. They're linkable, so you have that, that end there. And then on the other end, you have the same thing. And um, it comes with just a linking cord to tie one to the next. Or it has some, some cords that go into it that can be wired in. And then it has the cord for um, that just plug in. That's your options. So, uh, professional LED lighting, uh, HYKOLITY.com. Uh, but, guys, these are, I, I really like them. Uh, here's some of the wiring. There's one that's got a uh, plug in, plug it into the light. I have one of these over there so I can turn them on and off, a little flip switch, toggle switch there. Uh, comes with actually two like that two of those cords no I take that back I was wrong it comes with three of those with three of those with the toggle switch on them and then you have these cords here um, the light fixture is what was that 40 light fixture is 46 inches long and then it comes with these little cords that are 20 inches long comes with three of those lay them out there three of those cables there um, then this box here has the other kind of cord I believe in it I believe is what was in those um, yeah it comes with comes with three of these little pigtails you can wire them in yourself plug them in um, comes with all the anchors and little brackets and stuff and then yeah, this one this particular set has six of these bulbs in it um, but I like the design of them they're they're nice and uh, narrow here's what's left of the other box some of the extra stuff I haven't put all the lights on them uh, and like I say it comes with these little bag of anchors and fasteners and stuff but what I did um, just to make it more convenient I bought me some of these little ceramic magnets and the ones I've done over there so far I took um, come out of the bag took three of these magnets they're magnet uh, the magnetic but then they got the sticky on one side so what I did was put one in the center at 23 inches and stuck one like that on each end um, just helps the magnet stick to this instead of sticking to whatever your uh, the, the metal part but so far I'm gonna go over here and show you so far I've got four of them on here 
this old free bird. You can see them down there. I got one across the end and then three on this side. I'm going to put one on this end and then three down the other side. Uh, and that'll light up. Now here's the lights. There's those three. You can space them out, get them close together with these cords. Uh, and then I've got one here on the end and it runs. Oh, almost dropped the phone. Put back around there. It runs to this. Um, surge protector well not really a surge protector but whatever you call those little things with the extra outlets and then i have this little fella here which is a remote i've got a remote over there i can hit a button and kills it because this this lift uh i've got it running off an of extension cord that's a 12 gauge i think that's a 20 25 foot cord will run this lift that's one of the the reasons i bought it because it runs off 110 the, the two post lifts are 220 and this particular building don't have any 220 in the building other than um, for the air conditioner and that's on on the outside of the building so there's no two, uh, 110 there's only 110 in the back of the building there's outlets are along the walls and uh, but anyway that's how we power it this is uh, this is the ones from Harbor Freight and you can see that little old thing there caught on one of the tires and bent it light still works it's not plugged in right now it's not why it's not working uh, but i think i have a little more room i can put these off to the edge uh the advantage of the magnets not being mounted there i can move them and slide them and put them on the edge like that gives puts a little a little too much light in my face when i'm trying to work but you can do that uh and then you don't have to worry about running over them and it still puts a lot of light up under you know that's what I needed because I'm still having to stand under it with a, with a light or a flashlight or one of those headlights like I have. I can actually uh, turn these on and uh, be able to see up under it really good, whatever we're working on. And, hey, just a note. I've done some videos on uh, Wife Suburban and my truck with this link, uh, the, the Sway Bar link. Now, this is a 07. This is an 07 Tahoe. Now it has a lift kit on it. This is the one I got from a friend of mine. Did some swapping and got this one. Uh, I've got a, a big um, big plans for this one. Big plans for this Tahoe 07 four wheel drive. And it has a lift kit. So I know that this lower control arm has been changed. And for the lift kit and all that. And I think they may have changed those bolts. Because as you can see, that bolt is pretty long. And you cannot go out the top. It's going to hit that upper control arm when you try to go out with it. So this one is pointed the other direction. I had a comment on some somebody said that the ones that, that on the my wife's suburban and on my truck were in improperly. They're supposed to be pointed down like this. This one is done like this. But I know this has been changed. Uh, and but I also know that the front end on my wife's suburban has been changed um so maybe it was just stuck from the bottom just because it's easier to do these here you don't have to worry about them rubbing on the brake lines like on mine and hers uh, because that stud is sticking out the bottom but as you can see that one there no i was going to say it's been it's done got caught on something bent but actually it looks like it's pretty straight with the top but that's probably the way they're supposed to be that's what I was told, just like that uh, ball joint sticking out the bottom, uh, tie rod end sticking out the bottom, the ball joint sticking out the bottom, you know, just so. Uh, but now they got the brake, the, um, the the shock struts, they got the bolt sticking up through the top instead of having them sticking down. So I don't know. Guys, I know one thing, that's that ain't far, there ain't a whole lot of space between that one and the, um, the axle there pretty close I don't know that it ever hit a rub it don't look like it's ever rubbed there but anyway uh, that's a little update on that pesky bolt I call it that I cut off that had wore a hole through my wife's brake line on the Suburban had rubbed on my line so I cut them off cut hers off with a set of bolt cutters cut uh, cut mine off with a little fancy wheel on my grinder 
This one here don't look like I need to cut it off unless I just wanted to. Uh, but that's an update. I think these lights, guys, if you have a need for some some pretty good lights, I I don't remember what they were a set. They wasn't really expensive. I'm a, I'm a cheapskate, so I know they were fairly cheap. Um, but I, I like them. That's just that's just one side of it lit up right now. There's one side lit up, and you can see a lot. Get the other side up on there, and that thing will be like it's upside down with the sun shining on it. This one had an issue. I've got to work on the transmission. This this Tahoe uh, is not shifting right. Um, I've I've read some different articles and watched some different views, watched some different videos of guys having the same issue, but they they found a fuse. I haven't found the fuse. I checked all the fuses, and it's still doing the same thing uh, but when you put it in drive it starts off in either second or third gear instead of just starting off in first you can manually put it in first and then it goes uh, but anyway I got a I think it may be a solenoid because I've changed uh, uh, quite a few things I changed the uh, the little computer or the hood for it transmission control and um, that didn't do any good uh, but it also had a stability track issue, and you can see those new lines there for the um, uh, wheel speed sensors. I don't know if you can see that black line there going up, that's new on both sides. So all that's working like it's supposed to. But uh, Lord willing, you will see that Tahoe, and you're probably not going to recognize it when I get through with it. As you see, a lot of people don't realize that this is a Camaro here. Uh, the Miata, most people don't realize that's a Miata. When the, uh, there's my sign I got. My stepdad used to call me the mad scientist. He also called me Baldy Locks. Uh, but he would always so call me the mad scientist. So I saw that uh, little metal sign and I was like, I got to get that. Uh, but when the mad scientist gets a hold of something, you never know what it's going to look like when it gets finished. All right, guys. See you on the next video.